Dr. CV, Suresh Babus, Virtual Classroom Presents, Advanced Educational Research and Statistics, Simplified Series. Now this session is going to be on research methods. Ready? I'm ready. Good morning everyone. It's a pleasure to interact with MED students students who are doing education, either B.Ed, M.Ed, 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 whatever. I'm here in Tondamatu. As you can see, it's a great day. It's got lovely greenery all around it. And my husband and I are spending our retirement here. I'm Radha Mohan, and I have spent about 18 years in Jalamatutina, six years in Rajalakshmi College. Currently, I am in the Chinmaya Vishwavidya Peet in Kerala and setting uh, their school for B.Sc, B.Ed and B.A.B.A. It is a four-year integrated course and we look forward to our first batch this year. This session covers the following topics. One, definition of research. As you know, there are several definitions for research. We will be discussing different definitions relevant to our study. Secondly, the topic we should touch on are the steps involved in the research process, starting with the identification of the topic to investigate. Each one of you will be choosing the topic and you will be given the steps with which you proceed with your research. Thirdly, we will be comparing quantitative and qualitative research. As the name indicates, quantitative deals with numbers, frequency, etc. Qualitative, on the other hand, focuses on in-depth study using probing questions and questioning and answering of the respondents using different techniques like interview, forums and so on. Finally, let us take a look at the skills you will need to be a successful researcher. Now let us look at some definitions of research. Research has been defined as an endeavor to discover answers to intellectual and practical problems through the application of scientific method. Again, we have Redmond and Mori defining research as a systematized effort to gain knowledge. Now this session is going to be on research methods. All of you who have enrolled in the MED program know that writing a dissertation is a part of the MED syllabus. And finding a good guide is an even more challenging thing. So I, I suggest that you start early. You start paying attention to the classes and apply all that into getting your thesis through. Now let me just tell you what the process is all about. Ready? I'm ready. So first and foremost, you must have a problem that you want to think of, you, that is worrying you. It could be anything, it might be anything in your life, it could be anything in your school, it may be in your teaching career, it may be in society, whatever, whatever it is that's worrying you, think about it and see if you could use this as your research topic. So the first job as a researcher, beginning researcher, is to home in on your topic. What is, what is it that you're going to talk about? Having found your topic, you think about all aspects of it. So, currently we are in the throes of the COVID-19 pandemic and life is absolutely topsy-turvy, nothing is normal. And for us teachers particularly, students even more so, 
life is, uh, what shall I say, it's a total uh, turmoil. Teachers have moved from face to face to online teaching. Students have moved from going to school to sitting at home, learning online. So this is a wonderful topic for research, online teaching, so many aspects to it. And we know how, uh, you know, some of the classes may be effective, some not so. Why is it that it's not effective? How do you teach science in online mode? Do all students have access to internet connectivity? Many families you find have only one smartphone in the whole family. They are not able to take part in the classes. How many students are making use of Kalvi TV? So things like that. You have so many things. So if that is your area of interest, you have other things. You don't necessarily have to get into this. So having honed in on your topic, you next have to state your problem clearly and concisely. I'm sorry, the crow is also listening to my lecture. State your problem and then do, you do a complete review of literature. Now what does literature mean? It is not the usual literature that we read in class. It is a review of all the literature connected with your topic. So if you are doing online teaching, you are going to look at all studies done in that as much as you can. Now to search for them, you have Google, you have Google Scholar, you have any number of uh, search tools. So you just search through them, make a list of things that are relevant to your study and analyze them. Now if you are doing 5th standard online teaching of physics, then what will your the keyword will be online teaching, physics, elementary school. And then you keep searching, searching, a short list what is relevant to you and then look at it carefully. Read every single abstract. In that you will be able to identify the gaps in the knowledge. So wherever there is a gap, there is a place for you to do a spot of research. So identify the gap and state your problem filling in so that it fills in the gap. You are doing making a contribution to knowledge, that's what it means. Next, what do you do? You, after stating your problem, you will have to next think uh, and reviewing your literature, you have to think of the methodology. Now having read through so many studies in your review, you will know what are the methods that people are using and you can think of what methodology you would like to do. Is it an experimental study? Would you like to give a survey and do it? Would you just like to interview students and teachers and find out? So you think, decide. Now this is a very important decision. You will have to consult with your guide and come to a, a final you know, decision on your design. Who is going to be your sample? How do you collect the sample? How many students do you do? Where are your teachers from? Things like that. So once you've done that, your research proposal can be uh, jotted down. So the research proposal is the first part of your research study. You are going to talk about the objectives of your study, your problem statement, review of literature, the design you uh, intend to follow and how you plan to analyze it. Yes, you go into the, abs uh, the real part of your research. Now here you have to go and collect data. Now how do you collect data? Do you do it online? Now perhaps you'll have to do it online with Google survey forms, etc. But are you going to go from school to school? Are you going to have interviews? What is it you're going to do? So you have to have a coding system for it. You have to tabulate all your data and get it all in shape. So that's what you have to do. Next, you think of the analysis. Now the research methods paper has a lot of statistics to it. So you will be taught how to analyze your data. Analyzing your data which you have collected using 
suitable packages like SPSS or if you are a pro at Excel, use that. You analyze it and you come to conclusions. From the findings of your study, you will be able to make inferences. That is, this is this method was good, this method is as good as that, or there is no significant difference between online teaching and face-to-face. -face. There is a significant difference, things like that. So these are your findings. Now all these things you will have to put together in your thesis in the format specified by your guide in the university. You will have in that a chapter in which you state your problem, objectives, etc. You state your hypothesis, you will have a review of literature, you will have a methodology, you have statistics and you have finally your conclusions. And you have a good bibliography. So with that your thesis is complete. So, as you attend your research method classes in college or online or wherever you are learning it, read through it carefully. Every single chapter has a meaning for you and it would help you be a good researcher. You will get all the skills needed for it and you will be able to submit an excellent thesis. You will love research. So, I wish you all the best. God bless you. Thank you, friends. We will meet you at the next informative video. Until then, take care. If you like the video, like it, share it and share your valuable comments with us. Do subscribe our channel for more useful videos. Take care. Have a nice day. For more information, refer to our book, Advanced Educational Research and Statistics, Simplified, by Dr. C.V. Suresh Babu. Highlights of our Simplified Series Why should I learn this chapter? Snapshot Frequently Asked Question Summary Activity Assignment Video online Just before exam Test yourself Keywords Further readings for more tutorial videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.